Hey guys, Josh and Michael here from Mixing Mango, and today we have a review of this year's update. Yeah. It's going to be a long video, we're going to go through everything this month, so it's been quite a lot of content, uh, or this year rather, uh, so it's been a lot. I'll leave a link down to this page reading off, it's got like everything that's happened this year basically, um, we'll leave that in the description, you can check it out yourself. But let's kick it off for January then, and the first update was God Statues. Now... I know you haven't really done <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, I've never you? done it. I'm not sure why. Apparently, it's really good XP, but I'm, no, I've never done this. Yeah, I I did it a couple of times. I used to do it. Um, the XP is fairly decent. I can't even properly remember like what it's about. Um, I know like you construct the statues for construction XP, and you can get like prayer or slayer uh, XP as well. It's fairly good. I mean, it's a good. I think it's I think it's monthly D and D. Um, so that's like just a thing you can do every month it only takes like 10 minutes as well so I really I should get back into it but it's not I mean it's not the most useful thing um, the XP is not too good as well I guess it's it's a decent update really yeah and um, um, also wasn't this the um, the update that was infamous because so many people actually hacked it or something and they got 200 oh, yeah, construction XP and uh, wasn't it Wooks uh, actually did that as well and yeah, he Wooks didn't get reset that. but everyone else got reset months later he gets a P mod so that's pretty hilarious, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a dodgy move by James yeah. there. Um, so yeah, there was that, I guess. I guess that's like sort of the main part of the update. <laughs> yeah, because really, I already cared bug. about the update. I was like, everyone getting 200 million in like two hours was the main part of that. Yeah. So, um. It's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. So, uh, the next update was on the 14th of January, and this was a pretty big update, and it was the release of the Calfight King. Now, this drops the new uh, level 90 melee weapons. Uh, called Drygores, and it also um, was trying to incorporate all the new mechanics of the EOC, which subsequently kind of failed, to be honest. It's it did, really not of. that great a boss, and it's shown by the way that Drygore prices are nowhere near something like Seismics have shown like how difficult that boss is, and they're still really high, and yet Drygore's like a 80 mil for a main hand and like 40 mil for an off hand, so that's kind of shows that the Calfight King wasn't a brilliant update, really. Yeah, and like, uh, if you look at the prices on release, Jagex put the G prices at 500 mil. Yeah, I don't even think it reached that on release day, which is kind of, kind of shocking. So I know they had to like lower the G price just so you couldn't like exploit, yeah, coin, yeah, exactly. uh, exploit coin share. So yeah, that kind of, kind of was a bit shocking. I mean, this was basically the most hyped up boss I think, like ever really. They dubbed it the hardest boss in the game, which really. Maybe it was the At hardest the time, boss, it but it wasn't was the like, hardest boss, yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't like sort of like they thought this is like the EOC's just come out, this is gonna be like it's gonna use all the mechanics, it's gonna be the best boss ever, but really it just didn't live up to that. <laughs> um in terms of like the EOC mechanics in there, it's essentially stuns and provoke. I mean that's basically it. Um I know you've done a lot more of it than me, so maybe you can sort of go into it. Oh yeah, more. like it, I, I have to say Duoing is really fun, and back when I was a bit of a poor noob, I would just camp Calfight King in the masses. I made like 700, 800 mil. That was good, but the fact was, on all the all the other bosses, the new bosses, stuff like Rise of Six and Virago, it took quite a while for people to master it. Um, even v Rise of Six is still really hard, and Virago, people still easily fail the kills. I, Calfight King, people just like they mastered it in like one or two hours. Once you realise yeah. you can dodge the green attack by voking and using resonance or barricade or immortality, it just come it just kind of makes it so easy. And uh, yeah, that's it was just it. such a hyped up boss. I can still remember that video. I think it was a Rune Shark video of, um, I think it was Rune Fest 2011. Uh, mod Mark oh, yeah, like yeah. said, oh, and next up we've got this new boss, the Calfight King, and everyone like gasped, and everyone was like, oh my god, this is yeah. amazing! It really did not live up to the hype, I have to say. <laughs> no, and I I do love the BTS that came with this video, uh, with the Calfight King, where the J mods were like, yeah, you're gonna need a team of about ten guys in next sets to kill this on release day. I think Wook soloed yeah. it, or something yeah. like that. It was like within a week, it's been soloed. Um, kind of a joke with that. I mean, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot harder as well um, the whole like level 80 gear requirement wasn't really there um, you could probably do it with lower gear like if you're going to do a 10 man you could do it lower gear 80 gear was sort of like maybe a 5 yeah, man true. Um, so yeah I mean in that regard like for the hardest boss in the game it didn't really live up to that but I guess it is a boss 
bosses are always uh, nice to have, especially high level content. So, I mean, it, it's not like a shocking update. Also, not, one thing I don't like is how they released all the level 90 weapons separately, because that just means there's going to be variations in prices, yeah, yeah, true. as you talked about, like, dry goals are so cheap. Um, but overall, like, I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it mean. was a, a reasonably cool update, but definitely not one of yeah. the best of the year. Yeah, I think, um, just quickly, for some of these like major updates, you can probably give them sort of a rating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but stuff like the construction, uh, there's not, not, not much to talk about there. Um, but the next thing was actually the Desert Task Set. So, this one, um, I haven't actually done it. It's fairly interesting, I guess. You get these uh, this amulet or necklace kind of thing that gives you some like, XP and different rewards. Um, you haven't done it either, so <laughs> I mean, there's it's not funny how you just know that it. I haven't done it. Of course, I haven't <laughs> done the desert task set. Yeah, <laughs> you aren't the person to do that kind no, of stuff. Not. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've done like a few of the tasks just from sort of doing stuff in the desert. Um, but yeah, I guess it's kind of nice for comped guys, just something else to do really. But other than that, I mean, yeah. there's not too much to it really. Um, uh, for us. Also, guys, we're probably going to miss out most of the stuff to do with Solomon's Store and Squeal of Fortune because it's just not updates you want to talk about. Maybe we'll talk about a couple of them, but most of them we're just going to brush over and actually get onto the proper updates. So, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's not much there. Like in this month's summoning wheel, there's Don't nothing care. there really. Like, no one and cares. Construction um, training pack, so no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing we did miss actually is Chaotic Claws came with. I think it was with the Calphite King update, or maybe like a week after. Ah. Um, but I guess that one, like, there wasn't much use for Chaotic Claws. I mean, the main thing was to try and keep the value of Dragon Claws, because you need them to, like, add the spikes yeah, really to, to them. Uh, yeah, that kind of failed. And the fact that all the, like, everything in a tier is the same, it just means, like, you could have a Chaotic Claws, or a Rapier, or a Longsword, or a, ma or a Maul. You're going to go for Maul because it's cheaper. Yeah. Like, there wasn't really any use for Chaotic Claws. Um, wasn't really the best update there. So I think that is basically January done. So, yeah. so if we move on to February. So um, the first update in uh, February, there was quite a few updates in uh, on the 5th of uh, February, was sinkholes. Now, I didn't do sinkholes back then. I didn't really do a lot of dungeons because I was a bit of a noob back in February. Um, yeah, so. But I do do a lot of sinkholes now. I think basically got my level from 75 to like 88, nearly 89 just from sinkholes. So that's like 2.5 million XP, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do like sinkholes. I think it's a cool update. Um just breaks down the grind of div uh, for dungeoning sorry for high level players as well you know you do two a day yeah especially because it is to one yeah exactly like, yeah it's a lot of xp uh, you have to get and just for like because obviously doing five man is the best xp but then you can't always do that so just to get like actually some pretty good xp from a dnd yeah it's really good xp um, yeah, yeah it's, i mean it's kind of quite nice because like we both normally sort of solo or duo dungeoning mm. um and then in the sinkholes, in like like ten minutes or so, you can get sort of the XP we could sell in an hour <laughs> exactly, yeah. or around that. So, yeah, I mean, you could say it devalues dungeons, but it's just it really just breaks it up, and it's quite mm -hmm. good, quite a good D and D. Uh, next one is bank boosters for members. So this one we will talk about. This is a Solomon's um, update. So fairly interesting, really, because they said like I think it's sort of like two years ago they actually said they we're going to bring out bank space. Uh, for members and then so they just didn't do that and then decided to place it in Solomon um, this is the time before the loyalty store merged so you could only buy these with uh, room oh, points yeah, which yeah. was kind of like uh, kind of annoying since I think a lot of people thought the reason we didn't have more bank space was sort of to do like uh, sort of like a game limitation so we couldn't have more bank space but then to release it and make members pay was a bit it's a bit cheeky, um, really. A bit unfair, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a bit. I think they claimed that the idea of making it cost something was so free-to-play players to take advantage of this without sort of like... So they didn't have to buy a membership for extra bank space, which is sort of fair enough, but then surely like shouldn't just members get free then if you're only sort of targeting the free-to-play with the cost. Um, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird update. I mean, it's always nice to have more bank space, but the fact it's to pay for it... Uh, wasn't the best method of doing it, really, I would say. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, definitely not. Um, so the next one, Evolution of Combat Improvements. Um, yeah, no, I, sorry. 
I've actually got that. No, I don't even know that. Oh what yeah, I've actually really. got that page up. Um, I don't remember any of these to be honest. I but it's just there's a couple here. It says reduced armor rating of all dungeoneering enemies, uh, dragon life point reduction, no more instant adrenaline loss during actions, and a new way to stall adrenaline. Uh, resonance, uh, berserk, NPC versus NPC, missed hit splats, and weapon style damage normalization, improved influence of combat stats and weapon accuracy, and dungeoneering boss selection tweaks. So I'm not sure why they've really put this in with the main updates. I thought that would just be in like patch notes or something, but yeah, there's some yeah. quite cool stuff there, but nothing really to talk about that much. Nothing that good. The one thing I will mention is the resonance. Um, this kind of like took oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah any strategy that was in PVM really like I can't remember if you could heal from the ice from Nexus ice prison but like that's sort of where resonance would be used but you can't use it there and it's stuff like that um sort of it actually brings strategy into PV, uh, PVM but then they took it out for some reason um so that's sort of a weird update really that well they left it with um Calfi King which is strange well, yeah, uh, that was Calfi King. Like, Virago, you can't heal off the bleed. I guess that could be one where sort of, like, maybe that would sort of bring in some more strategy. Um, but, yeah, just stuff like that, I yeah. guess. But that's not really a major update, anything there. Um, so, I th what else so, is yeah, there? so the next one is the Slayer Tower revamp now. This one was quite a big one. Uh, Slayer Tower before looked quite old. I hadn't actually been there in, like, since my 07 days, but the revamp it does look quite cool now I have to say I hardly ever go there because most of the slayer yeah. bosses in there are useless XP but it is kind of cool I guess for the low level slayer le um, players and it is just a bit more interactive and better than the old one I guess yeah and the fact that you have contracts oh, now yeah, yeah. makes the XP a bit better as well and the rewards especially because slayer like there isn't too much money in low level slaying so just to have contracts that give you um, a bit of extra GP or XP at the end is quite nice to have. Um, I guess the main thing from this month actually is the old school yeah, RuneScape true. vote. Um, there was about like 450,000 votes I think on this and really that as a lot is all member votes and so clearly like a lot of people want the old school servers back. I personally do play on the servers every now and again, uh, you no, don't never. really. <laughs> No, <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy them. Obviously, a lot of players do enjoy them, so hopefully they keep going with old school as well. Last thing is the bestry, and like, is it even worth talking about, yeah, really? never took off, really. Like, who really no. cares what Nexus, like, HP is? I'll just go look on the wiki, to be honest. I'm not going to go look on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was uh, kind of like, useless. It, it was the first sort of, like, release of HTML5, but the thing is, that's not laggy at all. If you actually go on the HTML5 beta, it's like you can't yeah. even play it in like one frame. I talked about this so. the other day. I did actually try it, and I just couldn't run it at all. It was it was useless. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be ready for a long time. So, uh, yeah. No, it'll definitely be a while. Uh, but, yeah, so next is March. Okay, guys, so uh, in March, there are only two main updates that we're going to be talking about, and the first one was the World Wakes quest which was a new um, high level quest and it was awesome I have to say it was, it really was one of the only quests that I've actually wanted to do and did in like the opening week of it coming out and it was I didn't even use a guide I was so happy with myself and it was actually really really fun quest and I did actually really enjoy it and it kind of showed a lot about well not really EOC mechanics but it did like with the different cutscenes and stuff and the different bosses it did actually make it a really yeah. interesting and fun quest and I know you like it as well yeah I definitely enjoyed it it had a mix of sort of like the boss fights and uh, puzzles yeah, as well exactly, yeah. which was nice to see so really like for a grandmaster it had basically everything that it needed to have uh, the rewards were great as well definitely grandmaster standard I mean the only letdown was the fact they wanted to make it available to everyone so it couldn't really be too high level and it wasn't like, really like, a grandmaster to be fair yeah uh, that was the only bad thing about it so like that is a major update I would say about like a 9 out of 10 yeah really. I'd say 8 or um, 9 it's out just of 10 the, high, the lack of high level is there anything missing from that so apart from warbands we'll talk about that now there's nothing else major in this month no, true. Uh, so as for warbands like I don't know I'm not a massive fan of warbands. Like we did it all the time. 
like a few months back but now I want to get back into it but yeah yeah but we haven't done it in months now um it is like a lot of those skills are just buyables but they are really expensive ones so it's kind of completely devalued those uh which is a real shame stuff like herb law and construction they are like hundreds of millions to get to 99 and now you can do it for free in about 50 days so that's a bit of a shame that it is just that fast the one thing i don't understand about war bands is they try to revive the wilderness but it gives 350k xp a day there's no other dnd on that level and the fact you can do it daily like troll invasions 60k for a month i don't really understand like how they thought this wasn't going to be overpowered really mm, exactly yeah and the fact that there was it's like just reward for no risk really um it's a bit it's a bit of a disappointing update yeah uh, in that sense yeah i'd give it a three or four because like although it is it is annoying that it devalues skills i think we both decided the fact that we're just gonna have to do it because it is such good xp yeah. and the fact is i'm not gonna miss out on that so i i do enjoy it it is such easy xp but it is slightly annoying that Jagex, especially stuff like mining, that is a really hard skill. It takes yeah, a lot of well. time and uh, devaluing that. But I suppose when they open up a uh, agility camp, I'll be happy. I won't even care. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> but like, I mean, stuff like mining, I think I got like 75 from actually training. And now I'm about like 86 or something purely from yeah, warbands. Like I haven't trained mining in the longest time. And it's stuff like that. I mean, it's kind of nice that, yeah, I've got a higher mining now, but I like I wouldn't have trained it, really, without warbands. Exactly. Uh, which I guess you could see is a good it's a good and a bad thing that, like, you actually are training skills now. But then again, it is a hard 99, so it does just devalue it. Uh, but moving to April. So, yes. just looking at it, not too much, really. Um, charming it. Jewel, yeah, charming it. quite useful. Kind of controversial, but, yeah, it's a good update, really. Um, summoning didn't like summoning was hard enough because you had to get all the charms and picking it up was sort of just a bit more effort really <laughs> it wasn't really needed so I guess the charming is quite cool yeah. uh, for that dual wielding, dun- dual wielding and dungeoneering not sure why it wasn't out on the release of ESC <laughs> exactly, so yeah. glad it is now well I guess in April um, RuneScape beta I, um, I'm assuming this is the RS3 beta or wait no was there a no, new interface beta, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is or the yeah, new interface beta. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, it's both HTML5 and the new interface. So, I don't know. That's a decent update, I guess. I mean, RS3, not everyone likes it. New interface, again, there are some against it. Uh, but I guess it is good they had a beta just so yes. you could test it and out. You could try it before. Um, yeah, just give feedback before it came out. Uh, Samid Gloves, <laughs> this one just quickly go over it very interesting did you actually get any Samid gloves no never got one Samid gloves so get everything no. else apart from the actual useful things of the school of fortune so I know because <laughs> I remember that like I think Kieran said because he's obviously Max he got like 5 mil from it and he got about 3 gloves or something insane like that yeah. so that was just like handing out GP uh, that was a bit ridiculous and the fact that Jagger claimed to not sell GP on the school of fortune when obviously this purely is um, it's a bit, a bit annoying. Yeah, true. But yeah, Sammy gloves, <laughs> not the best update. Um, yeah. So uh, Castle Wars was revamped, and also Jewel Arena was actually revamped in this month. I think. I think that's what the go forth and Jewel thing was. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it is. was. So both uh, Castle Wars and Jewel Arena got a newer look, which is pretty cool. Um, refreshing some old, um, some old old content, and um, yeah. generally making just preparing I guess for RS3 and HTML5 trying to make everything just look old I mean new now and uh, yeah new. yeah. so that's pretty cool um, yeah uh, the last one is Instance God Wars yeah which wow. I don't know we don't really do that much <laughs> but that day I can remember we were quite frustrated with the new God Wars because it was the hard mode wasn't it Oh Release yeah, hard, hard mode, mode as well. The most useless update in the world. Who does that, hard yeah. mode? Like, <laughs> definitely I don't want is. Five more lantern dimes when I could have got one in originally, and like <laughs> use a whole inventor of food. It is so useless the hard mode. I don't even think anyone does it. Generally, God Wars Dungeon is dying. 
I think, personally. Yeah, it really is. I mean, yeah, hard mode was an attempt to sort of revive the drop tables, I guess, and make it a bit more interesting, but... Didn't work. Like you said, <laughs> it's not worth the extra effort to do hard mode when you could just camp, like, normal bandos infinitely, pretty much. Uh, like, when I went with a Steel Titan, obviously, like, I'm in maxed gear and it's not really aimed for me, but I could have got max kill count, like, without a yak or anything, most likely. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, if you're, obviously, if you're sort of, like, in that, like, the the level that it's aimed at, obviously, it's a lot harder, but max players are going to do God Wars anyway, so hard mode didn't really help no, exactly. anything, to be quite honest. And I can go to God Wars Dungeon on the best ping world, and most likely it would be empty. So it just shows yeah. just how dead God Wars Dungeon is now. So yeah, yeah. I mean, really, hard mode should have been normal mode because it does use some EOC mechanics, I think, or at least it looks cool. Really, that's the yeah, main thing. Exactly. Like Bandos does use abilities. All of them use abilities. So really, that should be the normal mode because that's more interactive. And then obviously the buff rate, uh, the drop rate should have been buffed a lot more. Um, sort of like. 200k a kill mm, or something exactly, around yeah. that would have actually been worth it since you can only do like maybe four solos a trip if that um, so yeah something like that would have been a lot better but really God War is like it's kind of dead now yeah. unfortunately um, so yeah that is all of April yeah, not much of April. to talk about there so we're going to May next so uh, next we're going to May now there's a lot of uh, Squeal of Fortune stuff and not that interesting stuff but the first thing that um, I see straight away is the uh, Nexus update, which was a uh, low-level prayer update. This was kind of like they were trying to make Jagex were trying to basically um, allow low-level players to be able to train their prayer without spending bank on bones. Um, what level does it go up to? I, I think it's Nexus. 40, 45. I'm not completely 40, sure, but it so wasn't like really high level. you get protection prayers basically for free. Yeah, basically. But the fact was, no one uses it. It's completely dead. Yeah. It's. I think it's quite good XP per hour, but for a lower level. But no one really does it. I've been there once. I think I was passing through on a clue scroll, and I was like, what the hell is this? I don't even ever go to <laughs> Umbridge Swamp, to be honest. Yeah, I've never done and it. Either. I just went past. I was like, what is going on here? And yeah, it's a Nexus, so... Um, that's not really that important, but there isn't that much to do. No. There wasn't that much in May, to be fair. I don't even remember that much, so, yeah. Yeah, I think one thing with the Nexus is I remember it wasn't free to play, which a lot of people were a bit angry about because, like, I guess that's the main... Like, free to play want to train prayer a bit. Um, but, yeah, not really much with the Nexus there. The next thing is the high-level farming update, oh, yeah. which, again, like, kind of failed. Like, does anyone even do this anymore? I know they did release the super, like, Sara, Zamrak, and Gothic brews, but then there's, there's not much use to them, really. Like, <laughs> no, Sara exactly. brews... I actually, I did actually buy some yesterday. I bought some, like, 30 super Sara brews. They're 37k each. Like, it, there's, they've got no that's real like use mil. in combat just because they're so much. Yeah. What was that's that? That's like a mill. Yeah, it is a lot. Just for 30. Like, I could buy probably like 10 times that many just with normal brews yeah. for that price um, so really these just haven't come down in price yet and there's no no real use uh, for a lot of these stuff at the moment haven't actually done this update I'm not have high enough farming I don't no, think no I haven't done it either yeah. but yeah I mean there's not really much in here I guess some people probably do use it but maybe like creating the stuff for yourself making the super brew for yourself would be fairly useful yeah I guess so yeah. Or if you want to sell them, but really, like, that more needs to come into the game. There's just not enough to actually make this worthwhile, I guess. Mm. Um, so in terms of buying the brews to actually use. Yeah. So um, and then on the first first of May was the BTS video fifty five, which was the Order of Ascension, which leads on to June. So on June the fourth, yeah, June, the Order of Ascension was released. Now this was massively hyped up as well. Not obviously as hyped up as Calfight King. But it was the um, obviously going to be the new Slayer range dungeon, which was going to release new uh, 90 range weapons, which were the dual ascensions. Now, at the time, I think I was probably like 40 Slayer. This was like before <laughs> I trained any of my stats, and I just used to camp cow fight. Yeah, I don't think I was high enough. Either. Um, but yeah, we wanted to get it to like 81, so at least we could get the keys. Um, I think you might be an 81 actually. I might, yeah, I might be yeah. 81, but not the 95. So. Um, I didn't really partake in this uh, uh, update, so I didn't make millions like a lot of people did, apparently, so yeah. 
I'm, like I think that crossbow on the first day was max yeah, cash. Yeah, I think one of them sold f- one single one sold for like one point five billion or something on like the first yeah. day. So that was pretty awesome. I have actually used Ascension crossbows since then. Uh, they are really cool, but there's not a lot to talk about this update. I'm not going to be able to rate it that much, so uh, I'm going to give it a six no. out of ten. I think. Yeah, I'd say around a six is fair. Um, one th- Well, firstly, this update was supposed to come out at the beginning of the year. Oh, uh, yeah, didn't, exactly. So yeah, I heard about this. Can't give it too much credit uh, there. But also, the fact that range is kind of just useless doesn't help it either. Um, I guess, I mean, Ascension as a whole, in terms of the actual content there, it is quite cool. Uh, like, you have loads of different sort of minions, then you've got the main bosses. Um, so that part is quite good. It's still fairly decent money. I think it's about three million an hour if you just camp the minions. So it's still quite good, and obviously people are still doing it. They're still doing the bosses, and all that. Um, so obviously it's sort of like a long-term content kind of thing. But I mean, yeah, overall it wasn't the best, uh, just in terms because it is range and range isn't used too much really. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, what else is there this month really? It's not that much. Uh, Triskelion keys. Um... I only ever had one Triskelion key, which was from Virago, because I don't do lots of sl- uh, high-level Slayer. But there's not a lot to say about this. The loots from it are absolutely useless. The yeah, new hybrid definitely. grit is absolutely useless. Hybriding it in EOC is absolutely useless. So um, it yep. wasn't that great an update, to be honest. I actually completely forgot about that gear. I don't think I've yeah, exactly. ever I seen think, anyone yeah, I don't use think it. I've ever like... seen. I don't, think it, I don't think it exists. I don't think anyone's actually ever got it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if anyone's <laughs> actually got it, because I've completely forgot. I wonder how much it is on the G, actually. Yeah. It must be a lot. Uh, but I think it is free to play, so that was sort of like, might bring back, bring down the price. But yeah, yeah exactly. not the best update. It is just nice, like, I guess like every now and again from doing high-level skills, you can just get like a free 200k, but other than that, not the best thing, really. Uh, I think the... One of the last ones is the transport update. So this one brought in new lodestones, which, again, kind of controversial because basically you no longer need to quest at all to get around yeah, exactly, anywhere. Yeah. Which I know for you, like you like that. <laughs> I I don't um, care. Yeah, it means I don't have to do yeah. quests, which mean you know, I have to transport everywhere. I can just use the uh, lodestones, and I think it's it's better for lower level players. But it does devalue a load of quests, which um, allow you to transport to places. So, yeah, and I mean, like stuff like magic. One of the main, like on O seven, the one of the main reasons to train magic is for tellies. Yeah, exactly. And now it's like, if they brought in lodestones, I wouldn't get up on magic anymore. Uh, stuff like quests as well. Obviously, a lot of those quests, like trying to get to can of fish, you. I can't remember what quest you need, but you're gonna want to do. Like, there's one that gets you fast to tell you. Stuff like fairings as well take you to a lot of the places the low stones yeah. go. And they say that, like, low stones are slower, but in reality, if there's a low stone there, you're not going to use a fairy ring, you're going to use a low stone. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, it does devalue a lot of teleport methods. So, next is July, and there's not too much in this, actually, but the main thing, obviously, is Virago. Yeah. So, um, I don't think you were actually there for the uh, release date of Virago. No, uh, I actually I was. I was in a mass. I can remember it. This was the first ever boss I've ever been to on an opening day. I was so excited. Yeah. I was thinking, yes, get a seismic one first day, make <laughs> seven bill, done. I know. Because, <laughs> yeah, we were finally maxed at that time. Yeah, exactly. Do it I, on release. I, I, I got like 9 million summoning XP in one day just to get to... Um, <laughs> Uh, 95 summoning so I could have a yak for it to be honest I didn't need it we never got past phase 2 no um, well like once you get past the whole DCing and lose your bank thing on phase 5 like, yeah exactly yeah that's one of the uh, things we need to talk about is the servers have been ridiculous this year uh, with the especially with Virago the DCing phase on phase 5 and that people couldn't even kill it that's how much of a joke it was so yeah, that was pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, people sort of joke about how like Virago uses a special DC attack, mm. um, so you can't kill it. But the, just the one thing about the servers is the fact that Jagex literally said nothing during that time about the servers. Yeah. Like, pretty much, a load of your players are losing absolute bank, and you're just gonna not say anything. That's a bit stupid, really. Like, I think I'm not. I think it was on that day they did. 
uh, start giving back items. It might have been like the day after, but I don't think there was any like official news post or anything where they actually said yeah. um, like what's going on. It was like a week later they did that, uh, which is a sort is a bit worrying really. That it like surely it would take literally ten minutes just to say like we're having some problems with the servers. Don't go Virago at the moment, something like that. Uh, but they just didn't. Um, yeah, well. I, I actually remember this quite I actually remember this quite well because it doesn't actually seem that long ago even though it's six months ago I can yeah. remember exactly when it was but on the 18th of July they actually did try and do something about it they did the maintenance and this was nothing to do with Virago um, between the 19th and the 23rd they did massive maintenance at like 8 in the morning and 8 in the evening and this was in preparation for a pretty huge update on the 22nd of July which was the um, release of RS3 which oh, yeah. um I have to say, first 30 minutes of RSC, I oh know RS3, because I hadn't tried the beta, I was so angry. I'm like, <laughs> what have you done, Jagex? I don't even know where my ability bar is anymore. But no, oh, I've come so to love RS3. It is like EOC, when that came out, I was generally annoyed and angry because it wasn't that great an update. But I actually, I think RS3 was a really good update and uh, just makes everything easier. And uh, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think there's still some stuff they could make a bit more easier yeah. about RS3 but as a whole like just the ability to customise your interface um, is really quite useful definitely the step but forward that uh, RuneScape needed to take because our, uh, RuneScape 2.5 which was like EOC but with the yeah, old like interface RS2 was RS2. just, yeah. just did, I didn't like it so yeah yeah I mean like the thing about the old interface was it was just ready like you could literally log into the game for the first time and know what's happening yeah, exactly. sort of thing now it's like you sort of got to spend like half an hour getting an interface ready before you can even play but I guess that's what tutorial I think a lot of people guess, the new tutorial. well yeah a lot of people did want like a old interface option which they never brought um, maybe they could have done that maybe they might do it in the future but I guess um, it is like it is a good update RS3 yeah. I'd say like maybe an 8 out of 10 actually no I'm going to drop that to a 6 just because the amount of bugs oh, yeah, on, the on the release, release day. Week. It's like... I, like, we know that they can't test everything, but, like, there was no testing that needed to be done. Literally, you logged on and there's a bug. It's yeah. like, did they not even play it? That's what I'm wondering. I just don't understand. Like, just doing combat for five minutes, you realise that your action one doesn't actually work. You can't even use quick prayers and stuff like that. It was, it was really weird. Yeah. I don't know how they didn't test some of those stuff. Uh, but yeah, RS3 as a whole, like, what would you give that? I think I'll give it a seven because although the yeah, first couple of like weeks, um, it was frustrating that they never actually ever fixed them for so long. Like that one yeah. with the um, the money pouch glitch, the one where it shows. Oh, zero. that still happens. That still happens. Yeah, six months on, so <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous. But you know, um, but you know, that's it's pretty cool. And then towards the end of July, we had the uh, Battle of Lumbridge week one. Um, just gonna. Uh, quickly talk about that. I didn't actually do that. <laughs> I just waited till afterwards <laughs> to get the um, the armors, but yeah, I, same yeah, I couldn't really be bothered. But I'm doing the world event at the moment. Oh, this one's pretty interesting. So yeah, yeah. Um, there's not much with the battle lumbridge. I guess it was the first time they wanted to try something yeah. like that, especially with the release of RS3. Uh, but like we said, we didn't really do it much, so we can't talk too much about it. But I guess it was quite an quite an interesting concept, really having that. Um, one thing I've said about World Events before is the fact that it is temporary content, which isn't always great. It's like, if you're not playing at that time, you won't really know what's happened. Uh, like, you can't really take part in it. Uh, which is one thing that's good about quests, like, you can just do them whenever. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. And also, the fact that I'm actually going away tomorrow, so I'm going to miss about seven days oh, yeah, that's true. of World Event 2. So that's yeah. really annoying. I'm going to miss out on so much XP. And uh, probably the new ability. Uh, hopefully, it will still be on oh, yeah, when I come actually. back. Hopefully, I think it is. I think it will be at the end of phase six, which is like two days yeah. from the end. So hopefully, I'll be able to do it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, and one thing we actually missed was bringing home the bacon. Oh god. Which quite clearly was the highlight of the year. Um, Modmark said this was like this was going back to what RuneScape was all about. So. I'm fairly certain she's never actually played the game. <laughs> that sort of reassured my uh, my fears on that one. Because yeah. really, like, did you actually play the quest? Have you nope. done it? I don't need the uh, <laughs> bacon yak. Yeah. I already have a pack yak, so... 
Yeah, true. Yeah, I I did it on release, but it was it was a joke, really. I mean, it was supposed to be a fun quest, uh, fun quest, but to say it's like it's kind of going back to what RuneScape questing is supposed to be like, it quite clearly wasn't. <laughs> like, I I'm, like you haven't done a lot of the grandmasters, but when I do quests or like the old quests, what I do enjoy about them is the fact that you actually have to get items. You actually have to travel around the map, and they're actually difficult. This quest was literally, they give you everything, you have to like, take 10 steps in an area to finish the quest and that was it. Like, there wasn't really much to it. Um, bit of a shame, but yeah, there hasn't really been that many quests to be honest this year either. No, exactly. Um, well, no, there's been a couple. World Wakes. I think, yeah, it was this quest, the Dwarf quest and the World Wakes. Death with Chivalry. And Missing Presumed Death. Oh yeah, that one as well. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's been quite a few, actually. But yeah, this one definitely was disappointing, yeah, exactly. bringing home the bacon. Um, so yeah, that is July all done, I think. So if we move into August. Okay, guys. So we are back in August now, and one of the main updates to August and a huge update was the new skill divination. Now I was actually on holiday when it was released, but I have done it a lot since. I'm level eighty one now. Um, personally, it is literally the worst skill in the world. <laughs> it's not interactive. It's not AFK, so but then again, it's just like agility, just collecting things. It's boring, it's slow, and literally 99 is useless. Yeah, you can make some of those portents, but quite frankly, I really don't like divination and what they've done with it. I wanted them to make yeah. another cool skill like they did with di um, dungeoneering, something that involves kind of skilling and killing. Um, and just generally a more interesting, more interactive skill, and they've just made a room crafting outside, basically. I know that's all, and like they tried, they tried to make it interactive, but they made it AFK at the same time, so you couldn't AFK it enough to like properly AFK. It. It's really weird. Like you collect um, the whole like collecting the energy, you can sort of not pay attention, but then you've got to keep clicking. Yeah, exactly. To get more, so like, they don't last for ages. So it's really annoying in that sense. Uh, yeah, I just I generally just not a fan of um, divination to be honest. Um, I know some people like it. Some people like drum gun. He's got two hundred mil XP, obviously. Oh yeah, already. But personally, I just don't like it. Yeah, I would say maybe a six, five. I'm gonna give it maybe. a three. A three. I okay. really don't like divination. It's just agility. It's just painfully slow. Yeah, or rune span, as you said. So yeah, yeah, not much to that no. really. I mean, the only good thing is it is a new skill. Yeah. Like, when Dungeon Deering come out, like twenty eleven, twenty ten. I'm not even maybe. sure, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's been a while, so it is nice that it is a new skill, I guess. But yeah, like you said, there's not much to it. Mm, exactly. Uh, fairly boring. Next thing is the Death of Chivalry. So, I've played this. You haven't. No. Uh, yeah. Probably never will. <laughs> probably never will. <laughs> um, so yeah, for QPC or comp, but no, <laughs> never. Yeah, um, not the greatest quest. Like, I can't even remember it really. Um, not there's not really like a, that memorable of a quest compared to like the World Wakes or something like that. But I'm just trying to think. Like, I think it was a an easy quest. It wasn't like a grandmaster or anything. So I guess there wasn't. They can't have done too much with it. It had a fairly decent storyline, um, graphics and everything were quite good, so I guess it was it was quite good in that sense, um, but it was just a small quest. Um, I think we worked out there was about like five quests this year, so out of the five, like this is maybe the third best, possibly, uh, around that. So yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, out of the five new quests or something, it's probably... Somewhere in the middle. I have seen yeah. like some of it. It does look alright, but it's. I think it's about Zamrak and about following Zamrak or something. It's, I, I think it's mixed I think it's in Sarah with the world event or, or something. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think you. It's about Sara, not Zamrak, but oh, okay, you have yeah. to help him or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I can't even remember now. Um, but yeah, it wasn't the best quest, but I guess it wasn't yeah. too so, bad either. Um, really. Next, we'll go into um, uh, as September. As for August, um, I think we said quite that a few was updates in September. It, wasn't it? The first one being the there Demonheim task like, set. Now, I know I didn't actually do any of these task sets, really. Um, I think Josh did. I, I think you did, didn't you? Wait, what task set is this? Demonheim task sets. 
Oh, is this September? Yeah, okay, September. Yeah. There wasn't anything else in August, I don't think. Uh, no, I think that was it. Yeah. So yeah, Demon Home Task Set. I did the easy one, I think. That was it. I kind of stopped there. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, like with the desert one, it's just kind of nice to have more content, really, for comped players. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the rewards were quite good. Like, you could skip a... Or you could choose a boss. Um, I can't... Do you remember any of other... Th- uh, any of the other I never rewards. did any of the I'm not, uh, okay, time, yeah. so I really don't know. But yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. But I do remember one of the tasks was like you had to redo all the sagas, which a lot of people were annoyed about. Since if you're if you were already comped, you would have redone on the sagas. So um, I guess it's a bit annoying for those players. But I guess a lot of the tasks do just have this one annoying task. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of fair enough. Um, anything else in September? Okay, yeah. So there's Birthright of Dwarves. You haven't done this either. No. Well, no, that was in October. That was the BTS for the burst by the dwarf. Oh, yeah, that's very yeah, true. true. Okay, we'll go on to that in a minute then. I guess the last thing is actually uh, Super September then. Yeah. Which I didn't wasn't do. super. Really. <laughs> you didn't do it? I didn't do it. Didn't do oh. any of it. Could not be bothered because I knew it would be absolutely useless. Yeah. Didn't you get that shield which has like RS... Uh, yeah, I got all the rewards. RS3 on it or something? Um, I don't want that. Don't Something like that. I, I want some never use the shield. That. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I think you got some outfit as well. Or something yeah. Like that. I, I just knew the rewards would be useless, to be honest. Um, yeah. And whenever they try to put, like, they try to match the month with something, just don't do it. Yeah. Like, there's no point. Like, it's going to be shocking. I think 2011 was, um, end of 2011, December, last year's December, was that Super December or something? Where you had the oh. double XP, double drops weekend, double like yeah. something. That was an amazing month. I really liked that month. That then you try and good. replicate it by doing like challenges, which give you terrible rewards. It really <laughs> just doesn't go down well. Yeah. So, well, obviously, like we had the Mad May, where there was obviously the Bar of Monkeys, which was quite clearly the best thing ever. I don't um, even remember Mad May, but yeah. Mad May. <laughs> I think they also wanted to hand out like 500k XP as well. So yeah, probably. They basically made the worst month they could and just named it mad <laughs> so um oh yeah there was also a sizzling summer again oh, sizzling it summer. like went into december as well so i think jagus has got their months a bit mixed up yeah, yeah sizzling summer will give you an extra squeal on the um spin on the squeal of fortune and one mil xp or something crazy like that so. <laughs> yeah yeah, uh, for doing absolutely nothing. So yeah, um, never. <laughs> these yeah. kind of things are never good, really. The other amazing thing about September, which I, I remember this now, seeing this on the homepage, was Jagex actually made an app called Carnage Racing. Do you remember seeing that on the homepage? I yeah, I do actually. Yeah, that was the most randomest thing ever. <laughs> they made a fighting car game, with completely <laughs> like different from RuneScape. I'm not even sure anyone's ever yeah. downloaded that. I'm- um, but I I might actually go download it onto my iPad I'm, right I'm now. I'm curious now. Like. <laughs> I'm curious. It looks quite <laughs> rubbish. Kind of thing. Yeah, Jagex looking from do. this picture, there's probably it like, looks like sort of like a a bad version of Need for Speed or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. Or, but you know, knowing Jagex, it'll probably be like like a car will just like spawn in your side halfway through or something like that. <laughs> or like you'll have yeah, unlimited the bugs boost. In that <laughs> yeah, we're just looking at it. It is actually free. Um, I've got it off on the app store now so yeah. I guess if you want to download that then there's no harm it's free go ahead um, <laughs> yeah there's no reviews so I, I doubt it was very successful then if like it doesn't say how many people downloaded it but I, they haven't actually mentioned it again so I'm assuming it kind of failed yeah probably um, but yeah I guess obviously again it's a major update for the year it was probably top of the home page for about a month because I still can't actually work out how to do the home page <laughs> um, yeah exactly I think at the beginning of the year Squid of Fortune was like always at the be- uh, the top of the home page mm. rather than the updates uh, they kind of managed to fix that now but still some of the stuff like I guess actually looking at the home page now it's not too bad uh, in terms of Squid of Fortune um, but a lot of the time, it's just mostly Squill of Fortune. Squill of Fortune or Solomon stuff, always, pretty much, so. Yeah. Um, but as for September, that and is... obviously Super September, I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah. So, October now. Yeah. Just looking at this, not too much. Uh, I think the main thing is the quest. Yeah, Birthright of the we Dwarves. We had... 
Actually, we had two quests, Missing Soon Death as well, oh, and yeah. Cyrenic Armour. It looks like... I think that's it. So... Oh, wait a second. First one... We actually kind of missed something quite huge from September. Oh, did we? I didn't even realise that. Bonds. It's saying here oh, yeah. on October Is that 2nd, when they actually Bonds released? one week in. So that must oh, have been okay. one week in. Why do they do that? Why say one week in from Bonds? Why don't they tell me when Bonds were a week ago? But anyway, yeah. Uh, just yeah. quickly talk about Bonds. Um, Jagex update to try and combat... Um, gold farming. Gold farming. Yeah. Has it worked? To them it has. To them it has. I, I said this the other really day. <laughs> I don't think gold farming stops completely, but I think it's I think it's they've progressed a lot in gold farming. I yeah. hope they have. Because to be honest, how are we ever gonna really know? Would they ever tell us statistics that they really want us to know? Oh no. No, are obviously they ever not. Going like to tell us those just, kind of things? No. So if you played the game for like a year, then you will know Jagged statistics. You will know that clearly 80% of players like the EOC on release. Yeah, exactly. You will know that 95% of players enjoy the Squeal of Fortune because <laughs> they spin it every day. Yeah. Like, quite clearly, Jagex can't make up statistics. Um, I'm assuming all the figures they did with the the one week in of Bonds was obviously right, but you just don't really know with Jagex. No, exactly. Um, I mean, they said that 50% of players have bought gold the one thing about that is they didn't say a time period. Like, that could have literally been from the beginning of the game, like, 50% yeah, exactly. bought gold. It could have been, like, in the last month or something. We don't really know. Um, so I'm kind of sceptical towards that figure. Well... Um, but I guess mm. if it has combated gold farming, then it's not all bad, really. Yeah, because I think we should just do something here. Um, there's two of us here. Both of us haven't bought gold... That's zero percent. Jagex, <laughs> yeah. that statistic is clearly wrong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in this situation, yeah. So bonds was well, I haven't bought any bonds per I think I bought like one bond on a couple of on Well the yeah, we bought day. them with a G but not with yeah, actual cash. No. But I haven't used them to buy anything so far, so I'm just gonna use to buy membership and stuff I just use like in real um like real money. So next yeah. were Well wait, one thing to mention bonds is Obviously, it helps the game if it's taking out gold, uh, gold farmers, but the main motive behind it was to sell cash, to be quite honest. Um, obviously, if I t- obviously, taking out gold farmers is good, but they must make so much from bonds, really. Yeah, ridiculous um, amount. Yeah, saying, like, looking at the figures, I don't have them up now, but it was something like, like 20,000 bonds redeemed for membership or something, which means 20,000 bonds have been bought, which if I quickly just bring out the calculator... That's like five pounds a bond. That's like a hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> so obviously it's good they're making money off this stuff, but they keep trying to say like that's not the aim. But we all know it is really. Yeah, we all know it's the aim. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. They should really just be more like just say the because. I mean, yeah, it's obviously the aim is to stop gold farming, but they should just say that, yeah, also a lot of the money we make from it will go towards updates and stuff like that if it is going to do that. Um, but yeah, so I guess that is Bond sort of yeah. quickly wraps up there. Um, so next, the other two main updates for October, there wasn't really that much looking down it apart from RuneFest Live. Um, we'll talk about that. Oh, uh, well, no, bit. there was some stuff. Yeah, no, no, but I was going to say the new two oh. quests were Damn the main yeah. thing from uh, October. Now, this is actually a quest I've done, Missing Presumed Death. Oh, wow. I've done it. I wanted those Barrows tokens, even though the Barrows already came out. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually a really good quest. I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, I really me it saying well. I enjoyed a quest, I've only enjoyed two quests this year. <laughs> one of those being The World Wakes, and one of those being this one and those are like the only two quests I've done this year so alright that's slightly inaccurate but still um, <laughs> that, I actually really enjoyed this quest it kind of was reminiscent of the world wake so yeah, it wasn't that much fighting but it was quite interesting I did enjoy it so yeah yeah I think just the lore behind it was really interesting uh, it's probably like one of the most lore rich quests really we've had um, so that was really nice to see the other quest was Birthright of the Dwarves Didn't do that. which yeah you haven't done it 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 was quite good. The boss fight at the end was actually difficult. Like I actually died. Oh my and god! To a die in the EOC quest. is like yeah. <laughs> to die to a a quest boss in the EOC 
is near impossible. Yeah. Like, if you go back, if you go back to some of the old quests, like, you can pretty much, like, just one-hit Nomad. I think I did Nomad with no food. <laughs> like, oh, it's ridiculous. Pre-EOC, you have to be max to do that. Or yeah, something. exactly. Something yeah. crazy like that. Uh, but yeah, it was actually, like, a fairly difficult fight. I know a lot of people wanted it nerfed, but with Drygors, it was, it was still quite easy. I did it within, like, two goes. Um, if you were a lower level, then it would have been a bit harder. It was a fairly long quest, and I think a lot of the storyline was quite good as well. It was quite a good end to the Dwarf series. So yeah, I th- can't remember the rewards. I think it was like a new Dragon Hatchet or something like that as well. Um, I think it automatically smelted some ore. It was kind of like the Inferno ad. So I guess it was quite cool as well uh, for the rewards. So it was definitely quite a good update, I would say. And... Actually, there was quite a bit of content this month, just looking at it. There was also the high-level trees and the Syrianic armor. Oh, wow, yeah, I, I miss. I, I yeah. realised I saw the Syrianic armor, but high-level trees, um, I don't think it um, really took off, I have to say. Not I know people much. do it, I know people do it, but whenever I pass the trees, they're completely empty. I don't even think anyone yeah. trains like woodcutting anymore. Uh, everyone does ivies because like <laughs> I go be, around yeah. when I'm doing clue scrolls I'm doing stuff there's no one on magic trees anymore because of bots uh, being banned I never see people <laughs> on elder or the new the, I can't even remember the other elder trees and what's the uh, last one yeah crystal. crystal yeah crystal trees the only reason to do elders for daily challenge really. yeah exactly that's all I do it but for. yeah but it is quite a cool update uh, Serenic that was fail update in my opinion it was kind of bad I mean again it's range armor and just range isn't used so it can't have been there wasn't really much they could do with it but like at least drop it from a high level boss make it like an item from any high level slayer is the reason why it's about 45 mil for the set it's just so (laughs) it's so cheap because it's so easy to get so I don't know that's actually one thing I forgot about it it was from slayer yeah exactly Um, because yeah tectonic and malevolent is from bosses and fairly hard bosses at that um, and the whole of the 90 so yeah. range gear is from Slayer so but yeah, I suppose both. it does look mm. kind of it does look kind of decent it looks kind of cool yeah so. and I guess it's nice that from Slayer you can get sort of a bit of money from these scales as well yeah um, but I guess if they're trying to revive Slayer it's not really the best way to do it they just want to like make one set of level 90 gear a lot less than the other um that's not the greatest way, I would say, yeah, to do that. No, definitely not. Um, Actually, there was the last thing. Yeah, there was oh, the yeah, Well of Goodwill that? and the Lund Bridge Real Builder Farm. Oh, I was actually going to say Prestige Pole as well. <laughs> Jesus. So there was actually, yeah, there's actually quite a lot this month. I to didn't realise it's all kind of like hidden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do actually remember this quite recently. Doesn't seem like like two months ago. Wow. That's two months, yeah. Yeah, well. But yeah, I'll just quickly talk about Well of Goodwill. I thought that would really like change the prices of loads of different things. Uh, it was really cool to see Jagex actually kind of think about charities and um, loads of people donated and it was a really good, generally a really good event, I thought. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and I think they raised like, was it £90,000? Yeah, £90,000, so, I heard that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's quite a lot. It's for charity, it's for, it's for a good cause, so there's not really much to complain about for the update, really. Yeah, exactly. And like, I think it did a bit for sort of taking money out of the game as well, so... It's good in all aspects, yeah, really. Yeah, I liked that. I liked that update, actually. Yeah. Uh, Lumbridge Rebuild-a-thon. Not... There's, that was kind of bad, really, <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah, okay. Like, Gather things. Put them... Yeah, give for them five bloke, minutes. For, like, a 10k lamp or a large lamp. Yeah, and you're done. It wasn't brilliant, but... I don't know. I did it. I actually did it pretty much every single day, so, you know. Yeah, same. Well, yeah, it was just free XP, really. Yeah. Um, I guess it was quite cool they found another use for the world event sort of reusing that content yeah exactly yeah um but yeah that was decent i guess not really not really the greatest thing but the last thing this month is the prestige poll was well, kind of in the middle really um but yeah the prestige poll this one obviously didn't get passed but interestingly it was like the first poll in probably since the wilderness poll really <laughs> That, like, actually, we had a proper say in. In EOC, uh, yeah. Or, I guess, yeah. O7, if you don't include the O7. Yeah. yeah. Um, prestige was but a yeah, joke, so prestige I thought. Pull. Like, personally. Like, I, I think it was generally, like, a good idea. People can try and retrain their stats again. Well, not retrain, but, like, 
I just think it was just... I don't think it's the right time. Like, I don't really want to. No. I can't be bothered to train my stats again. Like, Yeah, there's, there's some stuff like... Would anyone really want to retrain agility? Mm. Like, unless you're going for 200 mil, you're not going to... Like voluntarily get XP past ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. Really, uh, stuff like rune crafting as well. So, the aim was to target like two hundred mil players, but then like all the two hundred mil players hated it. Yeah, exactly. So, so. It, kind of, it really kind of failed in that aspect. Well, sixty sixty percent voted against it, so that's pretty yeah quite a large number. So yeah, uh, they did say they want to sort of like rethink the idea of prestige, sort of bring it back in a new well, way, which I guess could actually, be decent. They are actually going to implement it in some way. I don't see why Jagex make an update and then give people a poll. Give them a poll <laughs> before you actually make all these, you actually yeah. perform it. That way you won't get annoyed when everyone says, no, we don't want it. And then you've actually just made an update for no reason. So. Oh, the one thing I do love, which is coming up, is the summoning update they did. This is like, I swear they just did that so they could claim they're listening to player yeah, feedback. Exactly. Literally, they did an update no one has ever asked for at all. They get major dislikes on the forum, then removed it, and so they can say, yep, yeah, we're listening to your feedback, people. Uh-huh. Okay. We know that quite clearly from somewhere you wanted this, but now you don't, so we'll remove it. Mm. Like, really? Like, no one's ever asked for that. Um, but yeah, so it is nice that actually before they implemented it, they did this poll and actually like told yeah. us about it that's there yeah, that was good yeah uh, but I guess yeah at some point we'll see this come into the game in some form it could be, if they do it right it could actually be good um, not that I'll ever yeah. do it so yeah no I wouldn't really do it either but yeah we'll see like how that works out when it does come to the game yeah so we're going to uh, November next oh cr- Okay, so before we get into November, I just want to quickly go back to October and give a rating for these quests. So both of them, really, I'd give a 9. They were definitely great quests. Um, I'm guessing you'd be sort of the same with that as well. Uh, yeah, I didn't do Birthright of the Dwarfs, but yeah, Missing Presumed Death, give it a 9, that was a good quest. Yeah, yeah. so on to November, d d Tracker, first update, failed miserably, really. I don't think anyone's ever used it. <laughs> No one uses it, to no, be honest. I still yeah. get asked when Warbands is, so quite clearly... Because that's like the main yeah. use for it, to find when Warbands is, but no one uses it. Um, People just look up online, so it's just no point. Yeah. Really. Or just ask Exactly. You. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's pretty... nice as an in-game feature, but it's just not used. I don't th- even think people know about it, really. Uh, so that didn't... Yeah, exactly. Really, so. kind of failed. So we'll move on from that one. Um, yeah, so the next... Which is a pretty big update, this one, was the... Um, Rise of Six, which drops the new level 90 shields, uh, melee, range, and mage, which were the Merciless, Vengeful, and Malevolent, and the new 90 armor, new 90 power armor, the Malevolent armor. So, didn't actually do this on the first day. I think I was busy for some reason or another. Yeah. But I have done it since. I haven't actually ever gotten another kill, but it is actually really quite difficult. Uh, even still, people still fail kills. Like,. I think it was generally quite a good update, I have to say. I think it was a good update. Yeah, what you think? it was quite good. I mean, the problem is it's they release shields, and obviously shields aren't needed in the evolution of combat at all. Like, if you're going to yeah, tank, you just dual like tank. Mm. Um, yeah, what were, what were you going to say? Yeah, it's just because um, it's just not very good. Like, you just it's not great profit if you're going to do it off shields because... The shields aren't that great. They're not that high. Like they're fifty mil, seventy mil, and a hundred mil aside. Yeah, so. and because you have to four man it, that's like twenty five mil split max, which is still a lot yeah, of money, exactly. obviously. But compared to someone like Virago, you're getting like three hundred mil splits if you get a one. So, um, in terms yeah. of the mechanics, again, it's pretty much. I don't even think there is provoke in this one. I think it's mostly just like click and run. Um, from what I played from it, really. Uh, I know the the monsters, the boss, uh, the Barrows brothers do use some cool abilities like the whole spinning stuff, like binding you to a spot, yeah, that's cool. all that things, and the idea of having to like take them out one by one in a certain amount of time, that's quite a nice mechanic as well. But in terms of actual like, yeah, I do like in terms that, of yeah. EOC stuff, there isn't really much in there. Um, they could have done a lot more in terms of that. Um, so Rise of the Six, I would say maybe a six. I'll give it seven, a seven. I'll be nice. I'll around give it a that. Seven, yeah. Um, if we quickly just hop over to the homepage, they did this poll recently, which I talked about. And if we look at where 
Rise of the Six is it's got three percent out of like uh, the total vote uh, total votes for like the best update of the year with World Wakes in the lead, and Virago has got four percent. So it is aimed at high level players. So yeah. I can see why it didn't get that many votes, but I don't think it deserves that little to be honest. So. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it should be a bit higher, but I guess as you can see, not. I mean, yeah, it's mostly high level players vote for that. Uh, it's not very mm. popular on the homepage though. But the next one is what is next one actually? <laughs> uh, coin share update. That was pretty big. Um, Jagex wanted to address the fact that you could coin share a divine sigil, or so, that's an example, which was a really high price when actually the shield was like half the price. Yeah. They wanted to combat that and other stuff as well. Has it worked? I don't know. Um. Well, like. The I thing with it is like share really, so. they fixed it by changing the G price of the sigil. It wasn't really to do with the whole shard share part of it. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's kind of just more of like instead of getting coins, you get shards now. That's the main difference. I mean, I know a lot of people don't really like it. I was against it at first. Now I just don't really care because I don't actually coin share at all now. No, exactly. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Like just in terms of convenience, is obviously. a bit more effort to sell them and maybe you'll make a bit less uh, I think possibly in the long run it could bring in more money into the game because with coin share it would automatically sell the item for 5% under G value so if the G value is yeah. correct then it's actually more worthwhile to like loot share the item because you'd get that 5% more with shards you're normally always going to get that extra 5% so you're going to sell it for the actual value which I guess could have mean a bit more money comes into the game, but as a whole, uh, as a whole, I guess it's decent. It kind of fixes some problems um, the, with the economy, sort of. So it's an okay update. Yeah, I don't think it really made that massive of. Uh, it wasn't really that brilliant, to be honest. I don't really have that much to say about it because it just generally is just a kind of meh, nothing. Yeah, sort of filler update, so really. Yeah, just a filler, yeah, exactly. Uh, and the other stuff to go along with that, world map and tutorial. World map was actually quite cool, because it actually loads now. <laughs> like, it doesn't take 10 <laughs> yeah, minutes exactly. to load. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, they they were a bit sneaky with that one. They've now made it so if you're free to play, literally the whole map says join members now. <laughs> so, Really? I, yeah. d I don't know, I didn't even know that, but I'll go it's look It's like all actually. members zones. Cool. You can click on it, it says, yeah, you can do this here, join members to see. Like that obviously wasn't there previously, <laughs> uh, so a little plug there for Jagex just constantly bombarding you with membership information. But I guess yeah, World Map loads faster. I don't think it's really any more detailed or anything. I think it just is load times. So oh, okay, Fair um, yeah, not much to say on that. I guess that quicker load is nicer. And tutorial, I haven't done it. Have you done it? Nope, no, I've it. heard it is quite good though. So it's got really nice graphics. I've heard, so I guess that's always good for a new player. Uh, they want to, although the problem is if they're showing like really good graphics and like in game, it's just not the same. It's kind of like um, I don't know what's the word, sort of like mis selling the game or something like that, false advertising. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be quite good. So I guess that's not a bad update, really. Yeah, mm, I don't know. I, uh, I. I, I don't really know what to say about that to be honest yeah, not much. but I think we'll go on to um, December now yeah so what happened in December what happened in December um, Premier Club returned Harbringers of oh, yeah, Tusker that, you know that, about yeah. that? so you haven't done this because I think it's 90 no. something Slayer you need well you don't have to if you get it assigned to it if you get assigned it by um, the person you don't have to have a Slayer level I don't you can do it at any true. Slayer level. Are you sure? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Cause yeah, that, that's the point of Slayer, isn't it? I was you need told the that. Slayer level. I was told that. I was told that. Oh, it doesn't I, matter. Anyway, yeah. yeah, carry on. No, I'm fairly certain it's 92 Slayer. But, I don't know. Um, yeah, but it dropped the new level 90 melee gloves. So, these are quite cheap now. They're like 1 to 2 mil. But I guess it is Slayer, so it's kind of just nice if you get these like an extra mil. Um, I thought this was a really random update bringing out 90 like gear gloves yeah, and we've got no mention of I boots or gloves or anything else yeah just random it was a bit I thought but yeah um, so yeah I don't know when we'll see other stuff um, other 90 boots or gloves but yeah 
it's not too bad. The one thing I do like about this boss or this lair monster is that they have this mechanic where they can either do flurry or I think it's rapid fire. Might yeah, I think it's those two. And basically, you have to use either fl uh, flurry or rapid fire to sort of stun them so they don't do this attack, or they're gonna hit a lot of you. So that's quite a yeah, nice yeah. EAC mechanic that we haven't actually seen in any boss before. So hopefully, they can bring these to bosses as well. Um, it's taken them like a year to actually start using mechanics like this so hopefully you do see more stuff like this in the future well I think the Virago minions the ones that spawn to kill you oh yeah um, like the stone statues they can actually cast stuff like asphyxiate yeah, on you, copy you and, and they can reflect stuff what you put onto them so that's pretty yeah. cool I like that um, so I did try and do it then but with the new air room monsters they have tried to do that as well which is yeah because awesome. like with these um, if they do something you have to use the ability to counter that I quite like that yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, next, it goes on to the Premier Club. Now, for me, this really is not a big nah. update at all, but loads of people talk about this. You can buy it with bonds for like 240 mil, and I think it's actually crashed the price of bonds because I think bonds were actually reaching about 9 or 10 mil, Yeah. and then tons of people bought bonds. Well, um, actually, no, wouldn't that raise the price if they're taking those bonds no. out of the game? No, no, they no because they were buying them with like um, in real life oh, money. Okay. I think I mean like real money, and I think they were just like they used all their bonds and they had a couple of left over. It's just crashing yeah, the prices yeah, generally because bond prices are like six point five mil now, so they've dropped quite a lot. But yeah, that was I think I think it's a cool thing that you can actually buy something for your in-game account yeah. via um, like membership or something via real uh, via GP. But I'm I'm not really bothered. I'm probably not gonna buy it myself. Yeah, so, if yeah. I was to get it, I would buy it through bonds, not with real life money. Um, but it's yeah, exactly, yeah. it's not really worth it in my opinion. Well, it is if you're gonna definitely play for next year, then it is. But the stuff here, like you get a pet pig, or you get two pet pigs. Ooh, pet pig. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounds cool for like, the first day, but then I swear you can't even have pets and familiars out at the same time. So really, it's it's pretty useless. No, you can't. So um, yeah, you get extra spin, which is obviously going to add to Jagex's whole 95% of players enjoy this Wheel of Fortune. Um, <laughs> VIP worlds, I guess this might be good for bossing, because not many people will be on it, but they do have these exclusive yeah. Q&A sessions for VIP people, which could be quite useful, but I'm fairly certain they'll be on YouTube the next day. Like, someone will either record it or, like, yeah. just write it down or something. Exactly. Um, VIP badge kind of annoying more than anything I guess it's nice you can kind of show that you've bought this but there's no way for like you can't toggle it off for everyone it's only the person who's got it can say if they want it to be shown or not um, and I guess the main thing is the 500 uh, the 150,000 loyalty points which is a lot there's not really much use for them, but they are releasing tier 5 auras in the future, so I guess we just save up your points now. Oh yeah, I heard about that as well. Yeah. That could be quite nice. Also, don't you get an extra spin every Yeah, day, you get I one think. spin as well. The one thing a to nice note... nice little endorsement of Squid Yeah, Fortune. one thing to note is actually there's no mention of access to any betas like they had last year, so I'm assuming that means there are not going to be any betas in 2014. I, there's not really, yeah. I can't imagine there's anything they would need a beta for, though, really. Uh, but that's, I guess, just a little heads up there. There aren't going to be any major updates like that that will need a beta. So I think that's basically yeah. all of the Premier Club. Yeah, so um, next we'll move on to the World Event 2, I guess. World Event 2, yeah. Talk a bit about that. That was a pretty big update. But, um, actually, no, to be fair, this is just a filler update. I have to say, World Event 2, it's boring. It's just AFK it's, Event it's 2. It's just really. free constitution. Yeah. XP. The new abilities are so OP. Devotion is so OP. Can't wait for the tier three and how overpowered that's going to be. Oh yeah, definitely. But generally, it's just the PKing is kind of fun. I have to say, I it, did yeah, do it was fun quite a bit of the PKing at the start, but it's kind of worn yeah. off now. I think more players are choosing Bandos, so it's just a bit, you know, it's not that fun to be honest anymore. Um, well, they could have done a bit more with that, but yeah, they kind of just like it's kind of interesting forced PvP to get people into it. But I don't really yeah. know if many people do it anymore. Uh, the PvP aspect. I mean, we both just do it daily, but purely to see the AFK like building, whatever it is. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's got some nice rewards, some overpowered rewards in some cases. Um, it is a step up from the last world event, I will say that, but it wasn't too much better, really. Like, if PvP... I mean, I've seen people say this. If this was released pre-EOC, then this could actually be pretty amazing. Like, in terms of PvP, a lot of people would be doing it. Obviously, PvP was a lot more yeah, alive back then. Yeah. So this could have been a lot more interesting, but the fact is, they released this before fixing PvP because they are planning to change PvP. Kind of just meant it was sort of broken. Like, not many people do it anymore. Um, like you said, it was fun at first, but yeah... It's decent now, the PvP is not... It's not too good. Yeah, effects kind of wore yeah. off. Um, so... That's mostly it, I believe. I think... Well, yeah, I think we should talk about the Christmas yeah. stuff. Um, up to Snow Good, Christmas event. First Christmas event I've done, I think, in a long yeah, time, same, since actually. like 2007. Was absolutely <laughs> shocking. There was really no storyline. It was not AFK. It was boring. Um, it was just repeatedly click and hurt your fingers for like half an hour. Uh, it was like two hours, and I swear. It was. It was like, well, yeah, for like two hours. It was just so boring. It was so. I think it just showed that they really hadn't put any effort whatsoever into yeah. even using the Again, long bridge yeah, um, using. crater, like an old place. As um, the it was just useless to be honest. Did it for the XP. Got yeah, the scarf and my lovely Christmas jumper and got out, never going back <laughs> there again. It was a useless update. Yeah, it really was. I mean, I guess it is nice they're trying to, like... They actually did an event, because I know I don't think I did a Halloween event. Uh, they said, like, they were too much effort, really. So it is kind of nice they did one, but it just wasn't good. I don't like them without story mo- storylines. <laughs> no, because, so like, previous events, useless. there was a storyline and it was only, like, ten minutes, so it's not like you're sitting there for two hours constantly paying attention uh, it's a bit shorter it's a yeah, bit more exactly. fun as well um, but in terms of the 15 days of Christmas which came a, like a week after the Christmas event this is quite interesting obviously if you don't know if it drops the black Santa hat now these crackers it's about a 1 in 2000 chance of dropping so it is quite rare uh, do you know the current price of the hat I know it was like 200 mil um, last time. I think it was about 250 mil this morning okay so, yeah so mil. it hasn't gone down too much it's only gone down like 20 mil in about three days um so i think it's kind of stabilizing maybe it gets about 200 mil by the end of it um in terms of it will go rare, up after that obviously, yeah so. obviously yeah we'll go up um they said they don't want to do rares in the past they kind of broke that with school of fortune rares this one really will affect the economy though because it is a proper rare and it is expensive uh so it's basically going to be if you're playing at the time you could actually have a chance to make a lot of money if you buy one of these or get one of these if you keep it you'll make a lot of money in the long run uh, which again is what they didn't want to happen to the economy it kind of damages it in that way but I guess it is quite cool just to have like a black Santa a new rare is quite nice yeah it is pretty cool and I've had like 40 crackers yeah. now still haven't got one so I'm quite annoyed but you know I didn't expect to get one so I still would like one now, but, you know, it would be cool to get one, but I know I won't, so... Yeah, definitely. And so I guess the last thing to talk about is actually just this Christmas message from Mod MMG. And it's not really an update, um, but... Oh, yeah. wait, is that the last thing? Is there anything else? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, I did a quite an extensive... Well, I talked about it quite oh, a lot. okay, so, so yeah, we'll just quickly in my other video. go over this. There's... I mean, they... As always, they say they want to do, like, more next year, which just then doesn't happen, really. Um... But, I mean, like, if they do follow through with some of this stuff, like listening to the community, making it our game, which I said it was last year as well, then it will be a good year. We should have to wait and see, really, uh, what they do. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm quite... I think uh, this video is coming to an end. It's been... Very long. A really yep. long video. But I think we should have probably said this at the start. You should probably just uh, listen to this in the background whilst doing some skate. But... I think it's been a really interesting year for some updates. Yeah, some it has. pretty poor updates and some pretty good updates, mainly in the form of quests, a couple of decent bosses. Uh, I think, I hope 2014 is better than 2013. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, especially for bosses. I hope there are going to be some cool bosses. And I suppose we'll see where this new skill invention... True, new skill as well. Which, from the sound of it... A bit weird. Doesn't sound brilliant. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that plays out. I have to out. say... 
I'm not hyped <laughs> for that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, we could possibly do sort of like more of these videos, maybe for like every month, maybe looking at the month's yeah. updates, uh, something like that, in the future. So leave down in the comments if you want to see that. But I guess that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time. Yeah. Bye, guys.